the, the word Viking comes from language of owners, meaning pirate raid. The European who left their homelands in Scandinavia and traveled by long boats around the world. Vikings were said to win off because they want to seek for fortune somewhere else. Some of the Vikings that went off raiding was to settle tradings or to fight. Viking ship fleets between France, Spain, Italy, and North Africa. Trader makes long journey overland to Russia, reaching as far as South Constantinople in modern day Turkey. Some merchants travel further east to Baghdad in Iraq. A few daring explorers make voyage to Iceland and beyond, traveling across the An Antarctic Ocean to North America. The Vikings started raiding European towns in AD 793. Most Vikings were simply searching for better land for their farms. That land was not very good for growing crops or rearing animals. For example, Norway was very hilly, Sweden was covered in forests, and Denmark has a sandy land. The will to explore likely played a major role. At the time, England, Wales, and Ireland were vulnerable to attack, being divided into many different warring kingdoms in a state of internal disarray. The Franks or the France, however, were well defended. Overpopulation on the mainland was also highly influential, and they believed that they of death has been chosen during their birth by the gods. Therefore, they could not lose anything by raiding and engaging in combat, since their death was already determined. However, everything they did in life was entirely up to them, and the way they would be remembered in the future was solely determined by their actions. They had nothing to lose and everything to gain by raiding and pillaging villages. As they travel by sailing over the sea, so the coastlines are the easiest places to anchor their ship. The most important effect of the Viking on European society was the formation of England and Scotland as unified nations. Prior to the Viking raid, these lands consist of many small separated chiefdoms. The women held a strong position in Viking society and were responsible for the farm when their men were aboard. No women were forced into marriages, unlike most other cultures at that time. Women in Viking society could own property, request a divorce, and reclaim their dowries if their marriages ended. Some of them were even trained for combat. It was also socially acceptable for a free woman to cohabit with a man and have children with him without marrying him, even if that man was married. Viking society was divided into three classes, the elite with great economic power, freeholding farmers with the right to bear arms and attend the king, and slaves who had no rights. In order to climb up the social ladder, the Vikings had to go on a combat and come back with slaves and treasures they got from winning the combat.